Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock, where today uh, we have some protection suits to make, I think. I think I'm going to try and uh, gun for the main quest a bit today. We also have uh, a picnic basket to make. And we also have uh, the rest of the desert stall to make. So oh, we have some post as well. Okay, let's have a look. So Vivi says, thank you for helping out with the salted fish. I'm sure Mort appreciates the care. You can bring him more from time to time if you so feel. He'll enjoy it. That's good. So that's something that I know that Mort will probably quite like as a gift. I made you a little something to say thank you. So thin thread, rough cloth and 50 golds. Thank you. That was more than I was expecting. And I have now researched the jewellery making station. So that's a thing that I could try and make. Or not, depending. Okay, looks like we've run out of fuel as well. We'll quickly get that sorted out. The water tank's at 50%. Uh, let's have a look and see if I can put any more in. I can. But we're now out of water. So maybe for once I'll actually just take the water off my dew collectors. I feel like I don't really want... I'd rather just make loads and loads and loads of dew collectors if I can and then just get them when they're full rather than checking them and taking them off every single day. And I know they evaporate but oh, it's tiresome doing it all the time. So let's make some water. Done. And let's fill the tank to the top. This is why I never want to do planting because I, like, I never have enough water. Right, so next. Next job. Have we got any commissions outstanding? We do not at the moment. I will change that very soon. Ha ha ha. One day I'll press the right button to mount the horse. Alright, all right, let's go. Cool. Well, let's get some commissions for the day. Um, so we've got to get the bronze pipes going. And uh, I think I have... Yeah, I've got the thin thread now. Because luckily Vivi gave me just the stuff I needed for the picnic basket. Which is hilarious and also really cool. Ah, I need some tea. I just woke up, so... Tea time. I find when I wake up, like I tend to be a little bit more on the ball with things, but I also my voice isn't as quite as uh, like chipper as I am in the evenings. It's, it's interesting how different times of day make uh, make you feel different. So I think I probably already have steel bar, probably from the iron scrap actually. So that shouldn't be too difficult, Jensen. I don't know about plastic shell. Fifty-two, eighty-eight. The iron spear I need to do no matter what for pen. I think, and I think I could try plastic shell. I know I've got a couple of them, but I don't know how if I can make them or not. Well, I'll take it and I'll abandon it if I can't. That way, I know in future. Um. Oh wow. Wish I hadn't taken so many now, because Ernest has got a really big commission for, for food, look. Oh, so annoying. 151,800. Oh, well, okay, if that's still there by tomorrow, I will be taking that one, definitely. That will help me towards my 50,000 goal. 50,000 goal goal. <laughs> Come on, pony. Oh, you're just gonna stand there, you're not gonna follow me, okay. It's, it's, it's like this morning then, it's gonna definitely be a little bit of just like workshop time. So, number one is. Bro oh, clever me! Put the bronze pipes on at the beginning, at the end of last episode before I went to bed, I remember now. Haha, <laughs> fantastic. And I already have the stuff for while well, it makes that last one. I already have the stuff for the picnic basket, so that's easy. Let's do. So picnic basket is done. 
uh, I need to just sort my inventory out. Still got the picnic basket there, so that's good. I need some steel bars, so I'll just take them all. Rather than try, I don't like do splitting stacks in this. I'll eventually like fill up my inventory and then I'll go back through it and I'll take everything out and then put it in the right place and then it'll happen all over again. So that's the way it works with me. Like I say, you could play this game entirely just in expanding the inventory. Never actually using chests. If you were a complete agent of chaos, you could do that. Like... I am only like the the amateur version of an agent of chaos, so uh, you know I can't quite do that yet. So if I look on my log now, I've got the stuff for Jensen. Uh, I need to make an iron spear, and I need to try and make plastic shells. Right, so I don't think plastic shells are here. I don't think they're there. No. Aha, they are, I think, from the processor, but they require plastic from the civil recycler. Right. Good to know. I apparently need copper plates, and I apparently need, like, cast iron rods. I think the hardwood sticks might have been for the picnic basket, I'm not sure. But yeah, plastic shell, I need plastic scrap. So I'm going to go up to Rockies quickly while everything else is sort of being worked on. And I'm going to ask him if he can give me plastic scrap in my, in my allocation. Or whether plastic scrap is something from the new stuff, I don't know. So let me have a look. So I'm I'm getting the deluxe scrap package right now. My contract level is maxed. Free deluxe scrap. Because you guys keep saying like that there's a way to change what like the the how much of things I'm getting, but I I can only see packages of scraps. Oh, I see. Basic scrap is mechanical wood and copper. Oh, right, 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 right. So this is this is all the things I'm getting. So I'm getting loads of power stones. That's fine. The rubber, fine wood, and iron scrap I want lots of. So I took that down to zero. Yeah, which just cost me a bit less less money. So I could just get more of the deluxe scrap and things and power stone. Maybe I don't even need as many power stones as I've got. I thought we put that at about half. We put the deluxe scrap up at full. Basic scrap down to zero. The deluxe scrap's the expensive one anyway, but um, yeah, I'm thinking if I reduce it a little bit, I probably, mind you, I want the, the copper and the wood and the mechanical bits and having loads of bearings and stuff. So that's fine. If I've maxed everything out and I'm keeping on top of it, yeah, no, we'll keep it how it is. It's fine. Mind you, that's probably why I'm poor all the time, because I'm buying all the scrap all the time. <laughs> but I do enough, uh, I do enough uh, commissions to easily make up for that. That's like a day's worth of commissions, and I think that scrap, I, I don't know how often it charges me. It's probably per month or something. In fact, I'll, I'll see if it says. I'll see if it says. So, contract active till day one of spring, year three. Mm. 
we're in summer. Oh, okay, it's gonna last a whole year for that cost. Oh, that's not too bad at all. That's a couple of days worth of uh, commissions. Oh, righty ho then. So let's go and find Jensen and hand in his steel bars next. This is what I've got to do today, basically. Or like these over the next couple of days. Um, and also the picnic basket. But I haven't quite finished the desert stall yet. Although it's very close. In fact, I could go back and... I could go back and do the desert stall and then I've got three things to go and hand in. I've got to see Arvio, Mabel and Jensen. That might be a good thing to do because I think that's probably done by now. Yeah, it is. So, next question is, where do I make this uh, the stall? Is it on the assembly table is the question. It is indeed. I thought it might be. Desert stall is go. Okay. So we're going to see Mabel first. Yeah, I'm just having a day for this today. I'm having a day for not being able to mount my horse. Don't laugh. Right, so. Mabel first, like I said. <laughs> Mabel first. Off we get. There's everything, okay, so everything in the game is E, 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 okay. Talk to people with E, you go through doors with E. Mabel is not here, <laughs> I thought she would be. I could have sworn the tick said she was there, but oh well. Maybe she's in her bedroom. All right, I, I say install. Let's go install it there. All right, okay. Yeah, we can install it here. Nice. I'm sure I'd want that right by my front door personally, but there we are. So let's go talk to Mabel. That's why. That's why the marker was there. Mabel is elsewhere, clearly. But that's fine. I'm off in that direction anyway to go to Ceramic Gate, and then we want to track where Jensen is after that. Oh. If the ceramic gate was anywhere other than Sandrock, I'd probably never go. If not for that girl who runs the place, heh <laughs> she can talk clay with me all day if you get my drift. Why is Amira always dealing with creeps in this game? Like, Portia had no creeps. Why is there so many in Sandrock? I don't understand the hype. The Desert Roses stuff is kind of overrated, if you ask me. I much prefer Ed Hacker's farm in Vega 5. The ceramics there are good. Not great, but it's the only place you can get model spaceships and old jazz records at one stop. Plus, they get they got 10 gold hot dogs. Is that, like, uh, is, is it Target or Walmart? I, I can't, it was one of the American supermarkets that, like, people are always saying on Reddit, oh, you go for the hot dogs, because apparently they're, like, a bit of a loss leader. A little bit like going to Ikea for the meatballs, I guess. So I wonder if that's a little play on that. Shh, keep your voice down. That lady and her brother just went inside. They might hear us. I don't want us to get the side eye for having controversial views again. Yes, Ronan and Lemoyne. <laughs> so same guys that were buying the photos. Oh. Amira, Amira, my dear, dear sister. Come now, you said. I know what I said, Arvio. This order has an exorbitant fee attached to it, and must be completed immediately. I'm surprised I have to explain there are things more important than picnicking. But, there, but it is important to relax and rest and do things. You've been working past sundown like this for days now. When does it end? Look who's here. We prepared everything for this picnic together. Come out and take a break. You'll thank yourself and me later. Good. You prepared it together. You can go together. You won't be needing me. Now if you please, I must return to my work. Oh, she's so stubborn. Won't be we did this for you, not for ourselves. 
I invited the builder because I knew they'd make this event that much more special. I know you're older than me, but I'm your brother. It can't always be you taking care of me, you know? I'm aware, Arvio. It is not my intention to question that. I'm sure you'll get a chance to take care of me. Soon. Just not today. So, if you please... Tell us about the order. What more do you have to do? Hey, Trudy, up in the corner. <laughs> it's for Pablo Spend and Atara. He's working on a display for a flower festival and wants his booth to stand out. The main pieces are finished. Now I just have about 10 or so more standard urns for the more common flowers. I guess you could probably go and make some standard urns for you. Like, if you've done the main pieces. 10 standard urns? They want to custom make and ship standard urns all the way to Atara? My craftsmanship is esteemed. My sister, know that my love for you is great and my respect for your talents is never ending. But an urn is an urn. <laughs> this is a matter of quantity over quality. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. Builder time! You really mustn't bother yourselves with this. I'm afraid we really must. It's as they say back home. Three heads are more than none. That's true. Three heads are indeed more than none. <laughs> if you and I help out, we can finish this task in no time. And our lovely rose here won't be forced to wither away. And instead, join us in the coruscating sunshine. What do you say? We can do it. All right, our hands are your hands, Anne. So come on, let us help. Mm-hmm. It seems there's no stopping you two. All right. I believe it is as you say. With more hands, I can get ahead on this order. And as such, I might be willing to take the day off tomorrow. Woohoo! However, you must follow my instructions carefully. Simple or not, everything that comes from my shop has my name on it. Despite your good intentions, I won't have my reputation dragged through the mud. Understood? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Dear sister, the only thing getting dragged through the mud today is... Clay! Okay. Don't drag her clay through the mud. It's probably really expensive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are learning to do clay. Learning, learning. Javier, that doesn't entirely look like an urn. She lab on the mirror making beautiful urns. Javier's of them making flower pots. That makes how many? Ten? Twelve? Ow, oh, I'm really sore up here. We should let them dry for now. I must say, I'm impressed. You took to the wheel like an old hand. Well, I am multi-talented. Hey, hey, don't forget about me. My hand is old too. Yeah, your hand is old too. Of course. Thank you too, Arvio. This was your idea in the first place, wasn't it? Now, I suppose I must be true to my word. Aha! Uh -huh. And ask of you... Is everything set for the picnic tomorrow? Uh-huh. <laughs> of course, of course. Would you look at this fabulous basket the builder brought? I've made the order at the blue moon. I'll just pick everything up on my way over tomorrow morning. Shall we say, around 9 a.m.? That sounds delightful. I look forward to seeing you too. Don't be late. See you. Okay, so we have the picnic tomorrow. I have to wait for the picnic. Hmm. We have to talk to Mabel next. I hope the I hope she doesn't ask me to do something at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, or that we're going to be in a bit of trouble. <laughs> it's always the, the worry with things like this. Okay, so she went home in the meantime while I was busy making clay pots. Apparently, oh, she's having her lunch. Sorry, I'll put my pit camera away while I'm in your home. 
<laughs> well, I'll be. This looks delicious. Looks like Owen and I got a new competitor in town. Thank you. Tomorrow we can get set up so we can start our little bring a smile campaign. How about meeting me tomorrow afternoon at 1400? Perfect. Okay, so nine o'clock we have the picnic and two o'clock we have the school. I'm glad that they did that because I think they probably would have known that these quests would have been coming around the same time as each other. So I hope I have time to do both. I'll try and get my commissions all finished up so that uh, I don't have, and I probably won't take commissions. Well, I might do, but I might take them later in the day. We'll see, we'll see. Right, so. I can always take them and do them later. I lose a little bit from my bonus, but if I can get them done, then that's cool. So then, oh, sorry, the next one, I also have Jensen to give the steel bars to. follow that one for now let's not not follow those two I'm just waiting for those and at the moment I need to make these protection suits but I think some of the stuff that I've been queuing up on the processor are for the the suits but I'll have a quick look when I get back uh, what I need to do for them and I also haven't I realized just now so I'll do this before I go to Jensen's I didn't put on Penn's spear so it needs opals Hardwood sticks and cast iron. Oh, that's what all the hardwood sticks and cast iron rods are for. Right. Well, we've got the cast iron rods. Hardwood sticks need to be built after them. And the plastic shells I can't do. I, there is no plastic scrap. So I may, uh, I'll have to work it out or or just, I don't know. I don't know where to get plastic scrap at the moment. I've got wood piles and things like that, uh, but I have no idea where to get plastic scrap. No, I don't need scrap out of that. No, no. no. Let's go find Jensen. So yeah, waiting on the spear at the moment. Uh, don't know how to do plastic. I don't know whether I should just get rid of that one, abandon it. I always forget what the what the penalty is for that, and then I will try and make them the meat and mushrooms for Ernest if they are still there tomorrow. Am I actually following where Jensen is at all? No. <laughs> just riding. Riding into town. He's actually by the railway station and I'm off into town. Alright, Jensen. Hello. Hello. Land drop permission for you. Thanks, Builder. You're as reliable as the Tyrant Express. Yeah, yes, lovely. Right, so now I am left with making protective. I need plastic shells for the the protective um, suits as well. I need to find out where to get this plastic. Where, 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 where am I going to get that? Elsie also has a quest. Okay, so gecko station ruins. Sand sled. The moisture farm, fishing spots. Maybe a new fowler salvage. But I'll go see what Elsie wants first. Where's she gone? She's out here somewhere, is she? Yeah. yeah she's out in the desert somewhere. What are you doing all the way out here, Miss Elsie? Ah, it's you. Sorry about the horses, but <laughs> dang, you got me good that time. Say, how'd you like to get in on? A... Here's the scoop. Mm. I may or may not be in the possession of information that may or may not lead to the capture of something big, real big, something simply known in the Yak Girl community as it. It, Yak Girl community as it. But I'm afraid that's all I can say for now. I'll let you know how it goes. See ya. Is 
fucking air at the end of that tea was so cold. That's it, Elsie? You're not gonna even tell me what it's about? Okay, fine. Did that even go in my log as a quest? No, it did not. Right, so I'm gonna head up and see if I can find any plastic scrap anywhere. Uh, maybe, maybe I can find it in the scrapyard? That was uh, my best guess. I don't think I've ever had any plastic scrap. Maybe I have. That looks like it could be plastic. Yes, it is indeed. So this is what we need to be doing. Oh, I've got some straight up plastic out of this as well. Nice. Okay, I've got seven pieces of plastic. I'll take down the ruined bus frame as well. That's actually quite a good way of getting like nice iron scrap and things. The nice. Looks like there might be more, possibly more plastic over there. I'm not sure though. But at least I have one piece of plastic where I know where it is. So that's fine. And rubber scrap. I haven't actually needed to come and like manually get more scrap in ages. The other place where there's sometimes some scrap is <clears throat> around here. Looking around in the desert, make sure there's no like plastic scrap hanging around there. But Paradise Lost, sometimes there's bits of scrap and things around the outside of it. But I have no weapons. No, I think until I have weapons, I shouldn't be going back in there. Oh, come on, the gate doesn't want to open for me. Come on. It shouldn't follow me out, I don't think. Okay, so I'm going to go in each day and check and see if that scrap has respawned. To, and so I'll keep hold of cheese uh, rather than abandon it. I will keep hold of it. But I'm going to prioritise the protective suits. I need eight plastic shell for that, unfortunately. Right, I'm going to interact with you and tell you to stay. Oh man, I need four per plastic shell. Oof. Oof, this is gonna take some time. If I can't find plastic anywhere else. Okay, good to know. Unless, unless you get more than one out of a Materials, requirements from protective suit. That was really a terrible commission to take then. But now I know. That's why I like to sometimes take commissions like that, is so that I can know. Weed, tumbleweed. The other thing I want to do then, I'm gonna make my iron um, spear. If I can get opals. Oh, where are they then? From the quarry. Oh, from quarrying. From monsters. And from the civil core store. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can do that in the morning then. So I also need four tempered glass. For these suits. Just at this point, I'm trying to do what I can. 
I need ten canvas. And I have a busy day tomorrow as well, so I'll, I'll grab the scrap tomorrow. I'll just keep saving it up. How long do I have on that? Four days for the Iron Spear, and I've only actually got two days and 12 hours to get all nine of those for cheap. That might be a bit of a mistake. Let's put it that way. But what I think I'm going to do in the meantime is make myself... A frying pan counts as a weapon, I love it. Make myself maybe like a uh, an iron sword and shield if I can. So I need one copper screw for that, that I don't have. I'll quickly make those. And then we're going to have a look at how we make canvas. Now I think that that might be a tailoring item, possibly. I need a recipe for that, and I'm going to need jute and more plastic. There's got to be more places that there's plastic, right? But if I've got a, a sword and shield, I can go and have a look around all of the ruins and everything. Um, at the moment, I haven't been able to do that, so yeah. In the morning, when I go to pick up commissions and things, I also need to go to the Civil Corps store and try and get opals. They're going to be shut probably by now. So everything's a bit... I think, honestly, I might just need to go to bed. But if we can recycle some of the plastic scrap... This one's done, so let's um, recycle the plastic scrap. Maybe we'll get more plastic out of, out of that. Um, I've got 17 plastic scrap and we were guaranteed to get one to two uh, plastic out of that. And there's a high chance we might just directly get a plastic shell. So that might not be as bad as I think. Nothing I need to make over there at all. Is there anything else uh, that I needed to make? I just want to make sure before I go to bed that everything is dealt with. So I've got the picnic. We've got the, the, the make me smile campaign, snack campaign thing. Um, I need to get opals for that one. And obviously I need to get the plastic shells for that one. It might be that I'll have to put the le missing leak behind by a day or two just to get the shells for the commission because I don't, I really don't want to let him down, guys. It makes me feel bad. Achievement unlocked. Time flies. Some of your animals are not growing properly due to bad conditions. Did I forget to feed doodles? Let me double check. I've got an hour before I need to, to start with the picnic. No, I've got two hours. Okay, two hours is fine. Seems like he had chestnuts in there and potatoes. And I think we had water. So maybe it's because I didn't pet him yesterday or something. Or, or maybe because I didn't pick up the poops. Probably something like that. I got yakmel hair, yakmel milk. Wonderful. Okay, so um, I need to get go to the store and get opals. I need to get that recipe from the Commerce Guild. I'll go to the Civil Corps first. I don't know where the, the picnic's going to be, actually. Maybe I should... So that's the a oh, ranch part-time work as well. Okay, I could maybe do some of that later. Uh... Quick 
Let me check where the picnic's going to be. So go to Martel's Oasis. If you go after six o'clock, you'll miss them. Okay. Then, so... I really hope... that if I go to the picnic, it won't last until six o'clock. If it does, it does, and that's just... I will know then not to finish those quests at the same time as each other uh, in, in the future. But yeah, let's quickly... I've got time because it's, I've got until six o'clock, apparently, to go to the picnic. I, so part of me is like, do I just go to the picnic and... Uh, do, do I do martel stuff first? But that could last until six o'clock easily. Or uh, hopefully the picnic will be over. Uh, I don't know. I'm very, very confused now. I thought it was okay because one was at nine and one was at two. Like you'd, you would think that that would be okay. Right. So when it said uh, civil core store, it meant not at the Civil Corps store. Great. So, but I've got four days to do that one, so I've got time to try and find where opals are. Oh man, sometimes, I swear. I'll have a look at my uh, ore collectors and see about that. So let's uh, head out to Martel's Oasis and go to the picnic first. And we'll just see how that works out. Maybe they'll let me go after a few hours. <laughs> the fact that it's saying you want to attend before, like, oh. Oh, look at the lovely pots she's got. Oh, this reminds me of Portia. Everyone going on a picnic. Hey, Ham. I thought the whole point of dragging you out here was getting you to relax. So, relax. A book and quiet. I am relaxing. Or, at least I was. Ah, don't be like that. You're going to wreck your posture. Half the time hunts over a book, the other half a pottery wheel. Before you know it, you're gonna look like you're pushing 90. <laughs> Maybe we should have gone, do t gone to do some exercise instead. This, of course, is the only way to properly <laughs> relax with a book. Yep. Uh, the, sun, the secret. The curtains, I'm melting. Save me. <laughs> I actually managed to click on time this time. Woohoo! Normally I'm like, oh, what it mean? It wants me to do something after a cutscene? Ah! So now that you're out, you're having fun, aren't you? You know it's not easy convincing you, don't you? Hmm. Indeed. You see, this is what you get when you win an argument with my sister. Hours of back-breaking labor, followed by terse acknowledgement at best. Mm-hmm. Which is all completely worthwhile. In any case, I think this all proves that I ought to be listened to once in a while. To constructive advice, brother. Of course. I'm all ears. But do remember that we didn't leave the harshness of Bonarok just to lie around here with books on our faces. Ah, oh, I pray that you sleep no more at that place. My heart can hardly handle its very mention. Have you ever been to Bonarok? I always wanted to uh, go. Well, to travel, sure. But I wouldn't dream of trying to ever work there as a builder. There's not much that needs building. And hardly any ruins of value to dive in. That makes sense as to why the builder from Porsche moved from Barnrock to Porsche. Our home is on a plateau. In a visit, one could enjoy the scenery. But when the holidays are over, the tourists go home. And locals like us are left to bake in a kiln. Oh dear. 
I had to work in a quarry all day. And then I didn't have a cool boss like Rocky. One can only bear so much humiliation for daily bread. Finally, I just quit. And shortly after, Amira and I made the journey here to Sanrock. This place has its faults, but one mustn't forget to see the trees or the forest. I might not be so impartial, but I've never enjoyed such freedom as being my own boss here in Sanrock. Being your own boss does have its perks. Definitely. And it's all because you brought me here and helped me get started, Am. I won't forget your kindness. We're family. Besides, you have also been a great help to me. The true kindness is that of our parents. They gave up everything to send us here. Don't you worry. Aww. Pretty soon my shop is going to be raking it in. I'll take care of Ma and Pa. You just enjoy life. Oh, he just wants to look after everybody. It's so cute. Confidence is one thing, brother. But perhaps you should wait to boast till after you've a little more to show for yourself. I really admire his courage. <laughs> you hear that? I'm on the right track. Oh, brother. We're not doing an RVO romance run this time, I don't think. Don't get cocky, RVO. Need I remind you of the cash crunch incident involving your supplier not long ago? Oh, come on, Anne. That's so last year. Let's live in the present. <laughs> Have you tasted the food? That Owen. What a genius. You need to get the recipe. I need to go and get more recipes off him, actually. I, I really do. Oh, brother. What? I love how Sandy's just gate crashing our lovely picnic. Oh, that was done by 9.30. That's wonderful. Cool. Right, so. Walking mode. No. No walking. What did I press? X, was it, maybe? Yes, X. Toggles between walk and run. Not that I ever want to go slower. <laughs> I'm like, faster, faster, faster. Give me... Give me a car! <laughs> Give me a horse! Give me a car! Oh, not that I can control the horse! Ah! Okay, what I was thinking is I'd go to uh, Waterworld and grab some water on the way. And I'm going to see if the uh, plastic uh, has respawned. I'm hoping it has. Um, but also, I think I might be okay once the recycler's finished with the plastic scrap. Um, there was a, a certain amount I was able to do just with the plastic that I got. But I'm hoping I get some more. Well, I will get some more, but it's just, will I get enough more? So let's just head up here. And then I'm going to take a look at the uh, the ore refiner and see if there's a way that I can refine out some opals. Yes, it's back! Right, let's grab that every day then. Look, I got off the horse. I pressed F. Look at me. So if you guys uh, have any other ideas on where there's plastic waste other than this, do let me know in the comments. But I imagine that this is fine. Just for starters, at least. I'm finally getting the hang of it. I'll get the hang of it and I'll play another game and all the controls will be completely different and then it will be like back to square one. <laughs> Story of my life. Right, so uh, the next thing I wanted to do, I said, was to take a look at the ore. I will take a look at my mail on the way through. Workshop rankings! Woohoo! I got some water! Nice! In a remarkable turn of events, it seems that you clutched the number one spot for workshop rankings last month. Have you ever managed to best me, Jan, president of the Commerce Guild? Don't worry, I'm taking it very well. I'm not resentful in the slightest. I will, of course. Have a committee looking into how you managed to achieve this. Just to make sure everything's on the level, but until then, enjoy the spoils of victory. Note, spoils of victory is subject to reclamation if it comes to light that the rating in question was achieved through extra regulatory means. Congratulations if you really did win. Your friend and supervisor, Jan. <laughs> I always read that because I love it so much. It's so funny. Right. Or... Can we get opals from any of this? They are like the green ones. No. Okay. It 
So the next thing that I need to check then will be um, if there's any monsters that particularly drop them. But I think what I might need to do is a little run through the ruins to get that one done. Which kind of sucks, but never mind. Let's see how much plastic we got there. We got 11 plastic, 3 plastic shell. So I'm going to add the rest of the plastic scrap onto there. That I just got the 6 plastic scrap there. And there's also another 11 there. Oh, we've got loads. We'll be fine. Get another four there. Um, I have six out of eight plastic shells. So once we get a little bit more of this plastic scrap done, I might need to actually, what I'm going to do, take the mechanical scrap out of this one. I'm going to take the plastic scrap, the second one anyway, out of that one and put it into this one so that it'll be done in a day rather than two days. It's kind of important to get that done. And then some of the other scraps and things can be done over here. Well, ah, bah, voice is gone. <laughs> I told you this is what happens first thing in the morning to me for some reason. I don't know why. Have some water. Try and like get my big bottle of water without. I uh... know oh, it's still there. <clears throat> That's better. Gotta try and get this big bottle of water going without actually uh, like knocking my microphone or anything. It's kind of, kind of a bit of a juggling act sometimes. So do we have any more fine wood scrap to add to that one? Yes, just a little bit. Some rubber scrap maybe. do for now. I just go through whatever. I just go through whatever. It's fine. So the plastic shells are being made at the moment. Plastic scrap is being made. I'm trying. I am definitely trying. So uh, the next thing I wanted to do was get the canvas. get the canvas recipe and also maybe pick up the meat and mushroom um, commission because I think that that might be kind of cool I should be able to do that probably with stuff I've got in my box I might have to go and get some more desert mushrooms or something I don't tend to pick them up as much as I should right so there's a whole load more commissions a working desk that's quite a nice commission 944 goals for that But that one there for Ernest. That's a nice commission. 12 meat stuffed mushrooms. I'm sure I can get that done. Let's also take... I don't know if I'll be able to take any more because I think I've got three commissions. I'll try and take working desk if I... Yeah. I had a feeling I couldn't. So until I hand something in, I can't do anything more. But that's fine. We're working on it. I... Just need to work out how to get opals. That's the only thing left now. But I think that that might be a trip into the ruins. I don't want to do that until after I've been to Mabel's. So I'll just... I'll just keep it chill. <laughs> and I might have to do that tomorrow. I don't go through the ruins nearly enough. Like the um, hazardous ruins. I think it might be able to get opals from the vending machine in there, but the, the problem is then you have to do a level. So, let's have a look and see if meat stuffed mushrooms times 12 is something I can do. Do I really have no meat? How do I not have any meat? The wandering Y store though, I can get uh, meat there and soy sauce so then I just need to pick up like 12 mushrooms okay I can definitely do that let's go to the wandering Y store then little little pussy it's, that's good it means I don't have to kill animals if I don't want to that's always a nice touch if, if you don't want to kill the at least the passive mob animals 
then you don't have to. You can just get Cooper to do it for you. <laughs> so this is the mount store. That's not the wandering why store though. Oh, uh, also it's time for the cookies. Hey Mabel. Wow, it's so tasty. Mmm, tastes better than I had predicted. Num num num. Wowie, free food, and you cook this one? She love? Well, aren't you just a bag of wonderful treats? I didn't know you could cook. Here, I want to share something with you as well. It's a cooking recipe for my ma. My ma made it for me when I was just a little boy. Yep, with salt and sand rice, you got yourself a delicious bowl of mush. Soft, gooey, delicious bowl of mush. I love it. Mushy, mushy, mushy. <laughs> well, that went just smashingly. Uh, I reckon we've done given that little bit of joy to some of the folks around here. Put a small skip in their step. Thanks for helping today, Sheila, and I figure I'll be running this campaign here once a season. If you're ever in need of a little pick-me-up, feel free to drop by. Nice. So that was just a nice little quick thing, but I didn't want to miss it. Right, so I'm looking for the Yakmel store. That's this one, isn't it? So we can get some meat here, apparently. And you can buy just straight-up sand jujube cakes. So I won't be able to do the meat and mushroom today. I will have to go and get meat from here another day, or... Or kill a couple of yakmel, maybe. We can get animal skin here too, and yakmel horn and fur and stuff, and sandworms for sand fishing. That's all good to know, right? So, mm, I now need to go and find some mushrooms and get some soy sauce. Let's do the soy sauce first, because the I can always go gathering, but the shops will shut. So we'll grab all the soy sauce I need. Yeah, why not get 20 soy sauce? And it doesn't hurt to have more, does it? Of basic resources like that. And then let's go and see if we can find some mushrooms. So that's going to be the, the deciding factor on how quickly I can uh, make these. And I know I have seen mushrooms around here before. Let's see if there's any any more for any more. There's a few, so that's good. Learned about desert mushrooms range. Okay, so we've got one, two... Inventory is full, apparently. Yay. There are more mushrooms here. I don't want to, to gather the sand grass. I want the mushrooms only. Or the yellow lavender. Only mushrooms. How many did I get then? So I got like a couple, definitely. Get desert mushroom strains now, not just desert mushrooms. Oh no. Right, okay, well. Good to know. I think there was some dew that fell on the ground there. Good to know, but I'm gonna need to go and see if anybody sells them now. <laughs> In fact, that's a good idea. Do you know what I should do? Is go go to my chest, sort everything out. See if there's any desert mushrooms already there. In the ingredients or whatever. So I do have some already. I know I do. If I'm gathering and planting. Oh no. So the next question is, 
Did I pick up the strains but not pick up the actual uh, mushrooms? Yeah, because my inventory was full. Is that maybe what happened over here? If I ride over here, will I suddenly get a load of mushrooms in my inventory? No. Oh no, yeah, it's plus six. Right. So we have ten now. So I either grow some and it takes me six days to grow them. That's not going to work. Or I find another place to gather them. There's more trees and stuff down here. Anywhere that looks like a bit of an oasis might have some. So I'm just looking for like trees and stuff like that. Or waiting for those ones to regenerate. Could have a look around the oasis and see if there's anything there. That was the one place that I knew there were mushrooms. Um, not seeing any around there. There's me like Mushrooms will be so easy to find. They actually really are not. Cockerel of Doom. I'm allowed to go around here now, that's cool. To the Grand Mesa. exploration mission. I don't think I'm going to find many mushrooms around here though. Oh no, oh no. Badlands. Cool. I'm not sure I'm going to find many mushrooms around here though. But I've never been to the Badlands before so that's kind of cool too. get back from the Badlands though, is the question. <laughs> maybe this way? I can maybe jump up? No. Looks like there's probably a really good view from there. But I feel like I probably have to just go back the way I came. So yeah, look, I got all the way around there, look. So that's pretty cool, right? And I can go this way, maybe. Can I? That looks awful lot like death down there. No, we'll maybe explore that another day. So yeah, basically I'm just going to be sitting here waiting for the mushrooms to respawn. Mushrooms might be a good one to try and plant. Uh, but I need to maybe look at the conditions for them. I always say I want to do planting more and I, I never do it. I'm terrible. I'm just going to ride back home. No luck finding any any more mushrooms though. Maybe I'll just go on foot around Martel's Oasis, just double check. Because I kind of had a little scan around on the horse. But I think my best bet may be to come back to this area tomorrow. I guess, uh, no, nothing there. I didn't think so. I have had a look around here before, but sometimes you don't see things that you're not 
specifically looking for. So I think the mushrooms might only be in that area. Again, you can let me know if you know of another area where they are. Um, but I don't think I'm finding any more mushrooms. And, it's, and it, it'll tell you if it's at a certain store. So we are stuck on 10 mushrooms now. I've got all the soy sauce I could ever want. And we need to get a couple of bits of meat in the morning if we can. I'm going to get the fuel uh, lined back up again. And then I think I'm going to go to bed. Because we've had such an exciting day today, have we not? It's been super exciting. We've done, uh, we picked up loads of commissions. We made everybody smile. We went on a picnic. Loads of stuff. We worked out how to get plastic scrap, which is extremely important. So we'll be getting more plastic scrap, more mushrooms, more meat tomorrow. Picking up more commissions, trying to make the protective suits, and uh, and seeing what else springs up and and jumps in my face tomorrow. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>